In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect and configure a Wi-Fi configurable LifeWell timer. So first thing, uh, if we look at the menu, so we're going to the site and click on documentation section and scroll until we find the LifeWell timer. And look at the configurations. Configurations are pretty simple. Um, you just connect the power to the timer the green and blue wires are optional you can override the duty cycle if you want to black is the ground and yellow is the output uh, white wire is used to enable the wi-fi configuration so what i have here i have a test 9 volt battery with a power switch and led light i'm not going to connect the pump but i'm going to show you on the brightness of led that we're changing the output so connection is pretty uh, straightforward the black is black is the negative power is red output is uh, yellow and if we turn the power on you'll see initially for five seconds is uh, led comes on with the full brightness and then it drops to a, a lower brightness then i think after 10 seconds it uh, goes back to the uh, higher brightness so it's changing the duty cycle so to uh, to change that what we need to do we need to take the white wire so the power is still on we just uh, take the white wire and touch it to the to the black to the ground so now our wi-fi network is on and we need to uh, i'm going to use the laptop so if i'm going to the Wi-Fi settings. I'm going to find a timer wire sh timer shop network. I'm going to connect to it, and I'm going to open a browser and enter enter address 192.168.4.1 and click enter, and this will give me the initial menu for the timer. So a couple a couple things here. Uh, we can test the PWM output so if you have your uh, a pump connected you can uh, check and see the flow of your pump at different duty cycles so you can then use those duty cycles for your programming so right now we have 50 uh, 50 percent duty cycle i'm going to change it to let's say five and you can see that the light dims down and if I'm going to change it back to 80, you can see the, how, the, how the brightness uh, of LED changes and uh, basically it changes the output duty cycle. So now if you go into configuration, you'll find there are, there are four different periods. You don't have to use them all. If you don't want to use them all, then you'll just change the duration to uh, zero seconds. Uh, but if uh, you want to use them all, for example, period 1 is 5 seconds, I'm running it at 80%. At 80%. So I'm running it uh, at 5, 10, 5, 10, 10 seconds duration. So it's four durations, one after each uh, other. So the first one I can run it at 80%. For the next 10 seconds, I can run it at uh, 30%. Then if I want... I can change it to, let's say, next 50 seconds. I'm going to run it at even lower, at 20%, and so forth. And the, and the last, I'm going to run it at 30% for, for 10 seconds. So you configure your settings here, and you click Save. And the, those settings now are saved into the memory. And now if we turn off the device is gonna it's it's gonna execute your uh, configurations so that's how simple uh, if you need to change it again um, you just touch the white wire and that creates a wi-fi network and we're going to again connect to the network uh, connect to our network It takes a couple of seconds before the network is established. Okay, I didn't connect, so let me try it one more time. 
I'm connecting now. Connect it. So here's our initial menu. You change the configurations, you click save. And then what you can do, you can go back and click restart. And that restarts the, restarts the module now executing your configuration. That's how simple it is.